Holy Wire Mod. Holy Wire Mod here, and this is tutorial 9C in the Lua series, where we're going to be combining everything we learned from the last two tutorials to make a decent looking health bar. So, let's start by clearing all the stuff we don't need up. So, get rid of all that. And we're going to be jumping in game a little bit early in this video. Alright, so we are now in game, and we have the default HUD at the bottom left hand side of the corner. I did make an edit, which was off screen, by setting the init.lua. I changed this value right here to make it infinitely regenerate health, instead of just regenerating 10, because I want to show you what it looks like when health is constantly regenerating. So, the first thing we're going to want to get rid of is the default HUD at the bottom left hand corner. So to do that, we're going to be looking at this function in the GM library called HUD should draw. And it has the argument name, which is going to be the element to check do we want to draw that element or not. So for all elements, just by default, we want true. However, there are going to be some exceptions, which are going to be listed on this table HUD. So let's look real quick at the wiki and you have a HUD list right here, a HUD element list. And here you can either get the C HUD health, you can get C battery health, you can do both, you can get C HUD secondary ammo, ammo, it doesn't matter. The battery is the armor by the way for people who don't know that, so if you want to hide that, um, I recommend it for doing a custom health HUD in case you want to add an armor meter. But we're going to stick with um, this one, so we'll say HUD C health and also or, or C HUD health and C HUD battery. So if you want to add more, just put your C HUD ammo, whatever you want to put after this. All right. So now we're going to do the actual removal with this for loop. So I use the same method in the tutorial when we're doing team setup. As you can see there's four K and weapon and pairs and all that. So we're going to be using the in pairs and that's going to grab every element out of table HUD, so table HUD, and we're going to do stuff with it. So we're going to say if name is equal to element, then return false. Okay, so again this is going to say, it's like saying we're putting C HUD health here and we're putting C HUD battery here and we're returning false for those only, while the others are returning true, so they will be shown. So I'm going to save that, and we go in game, and as you can see, the health is now hidden, and the armor will be hidden as well. So now let's get to the actual drawing. Well, the first thing we need to do is set up the basic background of the meter. Actually, no, let's, uh, let's actually set up the meter itself. So you recall that we had a bunch of textures, right? And also we could set a textured rectangle with draw textured rectangle. So we do that like that. And then we'd set some value it would start at this value, there's the Y, here's the width, and here's the height of the textured rectangle. So yeah, that's, that's all fine. And also, before we do anything, remember you have to add the color or else it's not going to draw anything because it's going to be looking for that color. So we're going to say set draw color. Uh, so it's going to start at value 1, increase by 1 for each repetition of the loop until a maximum value of 11. And then we're going to end it. So instead of 1 here, we're going to put i. And instead of just 100 or 1, we're going to put the width, which is 100. And we'll put 100 times i. And so if I save that as is and we go in game, it's going to give us the first 11 values. So if we want to do the next, 11, what we do is copy and paste, we'd start it at 11 for a set texture, then we'd add eyes because this goes from 1 to 11, well this is going to start at 12 and go to 22. 
and then we are going to increment this value by 100 so it goes down on the y-axis by 100 units and that should be it so let's start that and now we have the next 22 well in order to save time I actually pre-wrote this and now we're going to display the first 99 all it really did was increment these values by 100 this could have been done in another loop however I wanted to simplify it and this has been incremented by 11 for each section so if we go in game now we have the first 99 textures all right so I'm really liking the texture which is at the top left hand side of the corner I mean top right hand side uh, second from the right which is texture number 10 and we're going to be using that for a health bar so instead of using a boring looking health bar we're going to add some texture it's going to be really nice looking so let's get rid of this since we got the texture we want oh, put 50 50 50 and we're before making the texture bar I'm actually going to make the background first right so just keep in mind that we're using texture number 10 so surface draw rec and this is going to be our background we're going to put 30 then we're going to get the screen height and this is going to put our rectangle all the way at the bottom of the screen so if we want to raise the bar which we're going to have to in order to see the bar at all we're going to have to subtract 70 units which is going to raise it by well, 70 pixels all right then we're going to have 300 which is going to be the length of the bar or the width rather I'm sorry and the height is going to be 30 so if we do that we're going to have a background for the bar now let us do the same thing here I'm gonna take this and we're going to make the health bar itself red which is represented by 255 and I'm gonna make it a lighter red uh, you can make it transparent if you want right here but you don't really have to do so now we're going to be grabbing that texture so set texture and that's going to be texture number 10 and now since we have everything set up we are going to do the drawing so we're going to say draw textured rec and we're going to be copying these values so what that's going to do is that's going to put the red bar on top of the gray bar now if you want to make it look fancier and add an outline we can do that too by simply subtracting the location of the bar or the first bar by two pixels we'll make a two pixel outline but consider that it's been subtracted by two so we're going to have to compensate by instead of just adding two we have to add two plus two so a two for the outline length and a two for this value right here and we'll say four so now when we do that we have an outline to the health bar so that's good now the next thing that you should consider is actually getting the health itself so to do that we need to identify a local variable which is going to be play and that's going to represent the local player on the client side of the server so it's going to grab that player and we're going to get for instance the health now most people would just say okay so you take player health right here and then you just leave it like that and then but then you have a short bar so you put it times the multiplier like two or whatever but then you're all disproportioned and stuff like that it doesn't look right so we're not going to do that instead I'm just going to say 300 which is going to be the full length of the health bar and then we're going to take a ratio so if I was at 50 health for example let's pretend like my max health is 100 that would give me 0.5 so 0.5 times 300 is 150 and now it's at half, half health you see again if I did I would say I'm at 25 health it put me at a quarter health right there so same exact concept we're going to take the player's current health and we're going to divide it by the maximum health of the player so this is going to work for health bars that are that uh, the player has health over 100 
right? So you remember in team setup, we set the health when you spawn to 150 and the max health to 200. And also, I did this off screen, but I made it so you regenerate health infinitely so we can see what it looks like when the health bar is incrementing or regenerating. So when I go into here, I should already have 200 health by now. I'm going to kill myself. So it goes to zero health. And there we go. It starts at 150 health and slowly goes up to 160. All right. And notice it's all textured and nice looking and not like the regular rectangle. So on top of that, let's get the actual value of the health. So I'm going to be combining what we learned in the first part of this HUD series, mini series, I guess you can say. And we're going to be using the draw library. And we're going to be getting the health. That's going to be the string that we're referencing. We're going to be using the custom font right here, my font, except that consider that we're going to make the size 30 because 100 is way too big for our HUD. So that's the cool thing about using surface in combination with draw. And then we're going to go the 30 units out, which is these 30 units. But we're also going to consider the total length and divide it by 2. So that's the total length of the bar divided by 2. And that's going to give us 150. And then we're going to do the same exact thing with the height. So we're going to subtract uh, the height minus 70 to get the height position or the y position. And then we're going to add since the height is 30 right here, we are going to say 30 divided by 2 is 15. Then we're going to set the color of the text to white with an, that's opaque. And you also recall the alignment right here from the first part of this. And we'll say text align center, text align center and there we go and now we have the health right there so if I go and I go to take damage like this now it's decreasing while regenerating so as you can see this health bar is now fully functional I can actually kill myself and it does regenerate health because we actually we'd have to stop health regeneration if the player is not alive, which is a check you can do. But for the purposes of the video, we're not going to worry about that. So as you can see, now we have a nice health bar. You can do the same thing for the ammo. You can do the same thing for the revolver as well, or the, um, secondary ammo and all that. But that's going to conclude this video. If you have any more questions on HUDs and whatnot, just let me know.